today on BAD. Five people have disappeared inside Serene State Park, Louisiana, in the last three weeks. Taylor, Moose, recon to East Shore. Sanderson, Marcus, survey to the north. Move out. Ranger Verdine? You radio that you'd had a new development. I better show you. In there, three quiet, one active. This could be our friend. Remember, we need it alive. To many, it is modern-day folklore. To others, it is simply tabloid headlines. But to a select few, it is the ultimate reality. Intergalactic aliens have arrived on Earth. Now, they move among us. Only one top-secret elite group of trained professionals has the ability to detect these extraterrestrial beings. B.A.D. The Bureau of Alien Detectors. Led by squadron leader Sergeant Ben Packer, military war hero, special agent Shane Sanderson, life science expert, Moose Tringanu, alien encounter survivor, Colin Marcus, computer specialist, and Casey Taylor, psychic communicator. Together, they have only one mission, to confront, control, and contain all alien encounters. Together, they are B.A.D., the Bureau of Alien Detectors. I'm Sergeant Ben Packer, leader of Team 22Z. As much as three-quarters of planet Earth is covered in water. When detecting aliens, members of the Bureau can't afford to overlook this. An alien presence could be discovered where you least expect it. I remember one time this lesson was made very clear to the members of Team 22Z. <laughs> Man, these bugs are eating me alive. <laughs> That's because they go for sweet sugar. <laughs> what aren't you all telling me? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. What's going on here? Never you mind. <laughs> Where'd you hide the bug spray, Mr. Louisiana Sportsman? It's over on the boat, city boy. Here, take some light with you. Nah, I'll find it. Good docking job, y'all. Couple real pros. <laughs> there goes staying dry. Dylan? Get real, Dylan. Dylan? Dylan? It just stopped being funny. If he jumps out and nails us, I'm gonna nail him. Shoes. He's out there playing Swamp Thing. <laughs> You gotta take a breath sometime. Perfect timing, Major V, as usual. Team 22C, we have a pressing situation. Three young people have disappeared inside Serene State Park, Louisiana. This occurred last night. A meteorite, as you know, hit the area recently. Any indications of alien involvement? We're not sure. The only witness reported seeing an attack by what he described as a swamp creature. Swamp creature or an alien creature? Sir, do we know if it's extraterrestrial in origin? It's your job to find out. P.A.D., you move out in two hours.
close enough. Your radio that you'd had a new development. Yeah, I think so. I better show you. There's dozens of these cabins around the lakes, and I pretty much know them all. How far do they go back? Not very. Some have underwater fissures that run out to the bay. said that ranger should make it. You saved his life, Sarge. Let's take a look here. Your full body combat suit saved your hide. Almost. Ow. Gross. Uh, no offense, Sarge. Well, none taken, Special Agent Taylor. <laughs> Looks like you had an unauthorized passenger. radiation from the intergalactic meteorite has affected this larva. Typically, at pupil stage, feeding and locomotion cease, but this specimen appears to be growing at a high rate of speed. The growth of this larva is clearly being powered by an energy source. It must be the oil. Sarge, you said these things attack the ranger in a swarm, like killer bees? No, in a perfectly moving shape, like one creature. But insects don't do that. Yeah, well, these did. So what are we up against? vampire worms that want to suck our blood? Sorry, Sarge. The ranger was full of blood, Colin. Whatever they're sucking, the brass want to watch. What? V says the boys in D.C. want him back alive for study. Not if I find them. We have our orders, Private. If those things get on me, I'm not stopping to put them in a jar. <laughs> Sarge, take a look at this. They're faint, but they could be human. Maybe four. Let's check it out. Together. Man, I don't think I like this. I don't think you're supposed to. It's just that I hate bugs. In there. Three quiet, one active. This could be our friend. Remember, we need it alive. Halt. <coughs> oh, man. Moose, don't. That's not it. And those aren't people. The flies are just here for leftovers. It looks like the Sarge's hungry buddies here got first bite. Hold on, Jane! Get it the if the bosses wanted to study the gator, tell them I'm sorry. All right, Special Agents Marcus and Sanderson, cover the North Shore. Special Agent Taylor, Private Tranganu, take the Southeast. On it. I'm checking that West Shore code. I want constant contact, people. Use your headsets. No heroics. We still don't know how to fight this thing.
got a hot read. A small cave in Sector 7. Could be human. I'm going in. This is the end of the line. Thermic, severe exposure. She's wearing a wetsuit. We must have saved her. Careful, Sarge. We're coming in with you. Orders are we take it alive. But first, we have to get her out of here. Now. We just talked to headquarters. Dr. Faulkner says the medevac chopper's on its way, Sarge. Watching that creature take her cousin, then two days alone in that cave, I'm surprised she's made it this long. Tell me something I want to hear, Sanderson. I don't think this is going to be it, Sarge. We've got some serious oil-eating mutates on our hands. Uh, you were right. I didn't want to hear that. Did you just say oil-eating mutates? But how on earth did they get in the water? Apparently, radiation from the intergalactic meteorite unleashed a strange species of larva with alien properties, which spread throughout the Gulf waters. And did it work? Well, as these alien microbes searched for food, they were attracted to residue oil. The oil provides the only planetary energy source capable of fostering alien growth. You mean to tell me those little aliens will grow after eating oil? Sarge, you did say they totally trashed your swamp ski. You think for the oil in the engine? That'd be my bet. So they're going for the oily fat right under the skin. That'd explain the shriveled remains we found. Sarge, if oil gives them nourishment, what would stop them from multiplying? Man, who knows how many aliens could be out there? Move it over here, Moose. We'll have maybe 15 seconds to snag that thing in the net. You can't use the comm sets with regulators in your mouth. Use the flare guns if you get into real trouble out there. Don't rip your wetsuits or they'll swarm you. And keep your face shield locked. Oh, I plan to. You ready? <laughs>
Responding, Sarge! It's torn! They're gonna swarm me! Grass isn't gonna like this. Orders were to bring it back alive. Sergeant Benjamin Packard and his conduct at Serene Pass, Louisiana State Park, during which time he did knowingly disobey a direct order to procure the target and return with it unharmed, thereby destroying all chance for further study and analysis. It is the opinion of this Bureau that he be placed on disciplinary probation for a period of two weeks and that a copy of this order be placed in his permanent record. This meeting is adjourned. Sarge, I I'm really sorry. This is all because of me. No, it's not, Private. But, sir, don't they know that you saved my life? You did it to save me. Don't they know that? They know, Moose. He did it to save me! He did it to save me! To save me! To save me! I was proud of what I did as team leader and stung by the disciplinary action. But sometimes you have to listen to your own heart. Human life is more important than research. With the alien neutralized, we could only hope the danger was gone. We will continue to stand ready to detect and defend. We are BAD, the Bureau of Alien Detectors. Next time on BAD. ETA in three minutes, Faulkner. What are we flying into? A real mess, Ben. Project Crystal got hit about 0100 hours this morning by some kind of close encounter level three alien assault team. But I think we got lucky. It looks like our EBE escaped that alien assault, but where she is and how she's doing is anybody's guess. But there's a time factor here, Ben. Our friend must rendezvous with her mothership in six hours. Find her, Ben. Get her back to her mothership. I feel that she's not doing well. I I'm worried, Sarge. Special Agent Sanderson, you're the life science expert. Keep her alive. That's an order. I don't know if I can help her. We've got bogeys on our tail. You want a piece of this? Come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> 